Ladies and gentlemen, it has been done and not just a tiny bit. The 25k was broken and by quite a quite a big amount. It's not just a little one. Uh, the higher you go, the rougher it becomes, obviously, to do these things. But uh, yeah, it, it's done. I'm super happy and you'll hear me later on talking 12 minutes in. Uh, to the end, so no post commentary decks, it will be live commentary decks, but for now I have to do post commentary because obviously I couldn't know which run will actually work out that I can play to later on. And a special thing, I'll use the new item, the Song of Mana, as well as its evolution, which is difficult on multiple levels because increasing the enemy spawn rate by 50% curse, totally fine. Uh, in fact, it really helps you out because you level up super quickly. Going to 100%, however, makes the later stages a lot deadier, deadlier. And especially the boss at 25 minutes. In the past, I tried it once, he straight up killed me and that was it. But what you're seeing right now is just resetting until I get garlic level 2. Most of the resets happen because I do not get garlic at all. Then the second most happen because I don't get garlic in the next two levels to level 2. Which just one-shots the enemies here. And pretty much the this one is a run that went on and these are the painful runs because I'm more than five minutes in But I got so many economy upgrades. Yeah, that can be a problem I didn't get enough garlic upgrades that I can't kill these guys like two more levels in garlic would have been totally fine to do this I didn't get them and I have to reset So now we get into the choosy run the main run. Yeah, there's a bit of idling there I didn't cut anything just that you see what it is like And there we go. I think I did a small cut there because I didn't want to show that or you just heard nothing. But Song of Mana level 2, that was amazing. I didn't actually like, even expect it. I wanted to pick up the Song of Mana if I find it. Because I think the combination of Song of Mana and Garlic is amazing. Garlic level 2 is still better, right, if you get it. But with Song of Mana you can partially replace what it does. Now you might notice Song of Mana takes way longer to kill the enemies. Which means I level up a lot s slower. And here I would have loved to pick the garlic. I think I'll actually do it. Yeah, there I took it. Um, because garlic level 2 is so beneficial. Now this is a blessing and a curse. W well, the blessing is we have garlic level 2. I need that. The curse is Tiramigu is rather rare. And I have been messed over at points where I reached even level 60 and I haven't found it again. Because I usually always skip it to go for better stuff instead of it. Um, so I just hope we find it soon again. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much just it. So now I'm walking over to the empty tomb. We have the garlic level 2, we are set now, we just need uh, an empty tome very soon. There's the Chiragisu with a reroll, that was worth it, so gay, uh, great, amazing. And But yeah, uh, we need the empty tome just to, well, as a 7th item, because now I plan to take the curse, right? And generally speaking, I like to take the empty tome just to get the duplicator, because the duplicator allows the death spiral to shoot straight to the left and straight to the right, which makes it super easy to navigate through the enemies. And pretty much the moment I got garlic level 2, I decided to max out Song of Mana, because I have two options. Either I get garlic to level 6 or 7 to deal with the wave spawning at 3 minutes onwards, or, which I hope for, that the Song of Mana can deal with them in combination with garlic. This was a hope. I had no idea if it works, I still don't know in hindsight if it actually did work. I think I had I struggled a bit, but we'll see that like in one and a half minutes, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, here I was wondering why it takes me so long to get there, but what I did in the past is I usually just always ran through instead of taking experience. And is it just me or did the the spawn amount of enemies increase by quite a significant amount? Like it feels as if I'm overrun by enemies here in the library, which I don't think was always the case while you're moving. I think the update changed something in that way, because while I was moving most of the enemies would spawn on the right side. Which would lead to barely anything spawning on the left side, and I wouldn't level up while I move over. And I think they changed that. I might be wrong with this, it might be an entirely wrong feeling. Uh, Crown, amazing by the way. I haven't done um, a gold record run in quite a while, an attempt that went really far. So it's not like, you know, I'm still used to doing a daily like 5, 6, 7 attempts that actually go through. But it's more like, yeah, every other day I'll go for one or two that succeed, that get to the Reaper. But none of them broke the record. Like, it was not even close. Most of them were 22k, uh, 21k. One of them was even below 20k. Um, one got insanely close. Uh, with also super lucky. I had, like, n I think seven clovers or so. Um, but, but yeah, that's, that's like... For now, it's just standard play. We just walk around. We try to kill as many enemies as possible. I can't cut this run. 
Technically speaking, I could, but to hand in the world record to the leaderboard, it has to be the full video. Um, yeah, because you need video proof. And I don't think there's anything that actually states you're not allowed to do a single cut. Uh, but I think, like, I'm not gonna gamble on that, right? Before someone says, oh yeah, he was doing something fishy there while he cut it out, like, I don't know, the tribal dance or something, like, I, I don't know what you could do while the game is running. I know a lot of things you can do while the game is not running, but I know nothing you can do while the game is running. So let's talk a bit about the game. Um, what do we have so far? Yeah, uh, Ken Labrador, what was I thinking there? I think whether garlic or Ken Labrador, I think, I'm not even sure. But Ken Labrador is really good because we need to have six passive weapons to pick up the empty tome. That is the goal. Can I kill these? Ooh, that's really bad. I can't. Ooh, that's annoying. Yeah, that makes it really rough to deal with this. So generally speaking, we are level 16. I think level 17 is the one where you can have everything maxed out. But let me actually count. So if you get crown level 4, which is the earliest you can take it because you need garlic level 2... Um, then it's 4 to 8 for the 5 levels, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then it's 9 to, I think, 13, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, yes, and then it's 14 to 18, okay, 18, so 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 for stone mask, that is when, like, the earliest to max out everything, uh, but you might have noticed if I did that here with level 18, then it wouldn't have fit, because I was way too weak, I couldn't kill these guys. So, while it would be optimal in regards of power, like in maxing out, it's it's not very efficient in the game if you go for the Empty Tome, because you lose so much experience that you don't level up enough. Uh, now, one thing is a given, you do not need the Stone Mask early on. In fact, sometimes I even just get it 30, 40 levels in, because I don't care. Um, I only pick up a very small amount, usually in gold, so I don't waste a lot of gold. Like, co coins, for example, don't matter if you have stone mask or not. The other gold bags, they matter a lot, but even, like, the, the small ones, at best, they give, like, 30 gold. So it's like, who cares if I get 22 or 30 gold, right? It's like, I, I lost 8 gold, oh no, who boo. Instead, I could kill the enemies and level up faster, and maybe gain gold back with higher levels later on. The, the, which is all, like... But point is, it, it's better to win, it's better to level up faster than anything else. So why are levels important, by the way? Why do I take curse? What is so good about that? X-Dash gains 10% luck every 10 levels. That means the faster you level up, you gain more luck in the game. Amazing, right? It's, it's actually that simple. Uh, 50 is the final level where he gains another 10%. So once you reach that, it's just, you know, you cal can calm down. I mean, still kill enemies, but you can calm down. Here I was considering going for Song of Mana. I don't think I did it because I'm usually always greedy. Um, but it would have been a really good consideration just to kill these enemies more easily. More base area, 10 damage. I think this was enough, the threshold needed, to just one-shot them. And if you, the faster you kill enemies, the faster they respawn, which leads to more experience, right? So this was like an internal argument I had with myself because Crown is guaranteed more experience. While if I go for Song of Mana and instantly up it... I also gain more experience, so it's a bit difficult. But yeah, uh, one new thing I started doing, with, especially with curse runs, is I tend to pick up the early chests once I have Stone Mask and Clover close to maxed out. Um, I do lose a little bit of gold, I do lose a little bit of potential, yes, that's true, but I just need it. Um, like here, if you get a triple chest, you're not, well, not set for the run, but you're really well off. Uh, but what also often happens is I get like a normal basic chest, I get a level of Ebony Wings, and I'm like, woo, yeah. Uh, uh, mm, that was amazing. N not. So, yeah. You, you can't choose it, but it's a really nice buff just to not fall behind too much. Um, because it's pretty much an investment where you sacrifice a bit of gold to kill the enemies easier, more easily. And that means you get more experience, which means you get more luck, which means you'll get more gold, right? Because with more luck, the enemies respawn faster. Um, but also the candles... Uh, not, not, what am I saying? N not, the, not the enemies. The candles respawn faster, which means you can break them more often, which means you drop more gold items, right? That, that's the entire thing. So here, I think I'm actually killing this guy and instantly pick up the chest, intentionally. This was an Ebony Wings. The 292 gold on the chest kind of, you know, compensated for the bad power uh, level up, but it's like, yeah, yeah. And, and this was me partying in my head, seeing three gold bags down there. Not the fastest pace that I ever had on gold bags. For you to know the fastest one, it was pretty much one gold bag every 45 seconds. That was the fastest one I ever had. And I think that was even in the video I uploaded with the 23k. But that one just failed down the line so badly. 
Um, so, yeah, that could have easily been a record break. It wasn't because you, whenever you do this, of course, you have to be consistently uh, good or make as little mistakes as possible. Let's be honest. If you play for 30 minutes longer because it pauses, you know, on level ups and stuff like this, if you play for that long, you will make wrong decisions, mistakes, gambles down the line that will just ruin something. And the only question is, A, how bad is it? B, if it's bad, how can you compensate for it? C, did it just ruin everything, right? And that's pretty much just the stuff that you have to go through. So, yeah. There's another Clover. Amazing. Two Clovers at seven minutes. That is really, really, really good. Um, I think the total amount of Clovers I got this run is... Ah, I'm not gonna spoil it now. You'll see it later. You'll see it down the road either way. Um, I, I'm just gonna say one thing. The highest amount I've gotten is, I think... Seven Clovers, if I'm not mistaken. It was either seven or eight. It's actually really hard to remember um, what exactly it was because I'm better with percentages, but I also forgot the percentage number, so I can't calculate it. Yep. Alright, so I don't think we're actually too far off from me talking again. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, never mind. Yeah, talking again in 12 minutes in into the run. So in like four, four and a half minutes, not 12 minutes into the video. Got a cough for a second. Yeah. Um, so, what what do I have to be aware of, by the way? I don't know if I mentioned this already with Curse. Uh, with picking up the item, the skull that gives you bonus Curse. What's different? What makes, Does it make it everything harder? Isn't it good because you level up faster? Not really. Because it increases the threshold of damage that you need to kill the enemies. And it's really difficult to deal with them uh, down the line. Like, it was already difficult and plus 50% health really doesn't help with that. And that more spawn, and that they move faster. The faster movement is really annoying. And if you want to go for the item, you also have to find it. You might notice I'm level 40, 34. I haven't found it yet, and it will still take a while until I find it. That means I do not get empty tome. That means it takes longer to kill the enemies, and also to take less damage, right? Because, for example, here the song of mana is the weapon supposed to push back the enemies. If it takes longer to attack, then well, it doesn't push back enemies. That makes sense. In hindsight, I should have actually not went for garlic, I think. Maybe Ken Labrador was better, because it increases the area of the garlic and the Song of Mana. So, maybe that was better. I think what I was going for is, if I level it up now, there is an amazing wave incoming, and I want to be strong enough to one-shot them with garlic. I think that was the main intention. So this is the amazing wave. This is where you level up like stupid. This was actually lucky that he died here, and gave me an extra garlic level, because I think... It was required to kill them, that you need level 6 garlic. I might be wrong with this, you might even need level 7 maybe or so, but I'm pretty sure level 6 garlic is already enough. But yeah, there I have the level 7. Um, I should pick up the axe here if I'm smart. Yeah, there we go. Because I'm maxing out my stuff and soon I won't have power up, uh, level ups anymore for weapons. Now, to understand high luck, why I constantly get power ups offered is, every single time the game offers you 3 to 4 choices, nah, the higher luck is, the higher the chance that you get a fourth choice, but also, the higher luck is, the higher the chance that the game offers you level ups for weapons that you already have, instead of just giving you something new. And this is why um, it's really easy to, early on, if you get Clover, if you get Garlic, to max them out, because you only have three choices that it can go, uh, can, that it can go for, right? Okay, let's say Crown, Clover, Garlic, and Ebony Wings, and if it decides, hey, you know what? Uh, it's about time that I'll give you a, a level up because you have high luck, then I can only choose from those four. So the chances of maxing them out and the reason why I get these economy upgrades so early and why saying level 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is not too unrealistic is because of that game mechanic. Okay, <clears throat> I'm back. Had to cough again. Some days are a bit worse than others. Uh, but yeah, um... What else is there to say? I don't think you need to know too much about the run that I won't mention while I do live commentary. Of course, live commentary decks is a bit more about rambling, you know, and losing thoughts and, and stuff happens, reacting to live stuff. Um, but, but this is pretty much all you need to know. We're just waiting for Curse. I want to figure out, is this any good or is it any bad? Right, that's the entire point. Uh, because I gave up on the song to max it out, I decided to now go for Axe as soon as possible because the boss is here. And Death Spiral is really good to just, you know, push back the enemies, to clear paths. With Duplicator it's better, I can't go for it now, but it's fine. 
Um, but it also helps to break handles because it, it pretty much covers a huge area. Way more if it, you have duplicator, that's a given. But it's still decent. It, it's still okay, it's still fine. Also, I'm really sorry if I forget, uh, if I don't cut out something where I should have cut out something. I think while I was recording this, like while I do live talk, I, I didn't even consider that this might be a new world record. So in my mind, I was just like, if I mess something up, then I repeat it, because usually then I cut it out and use the one where I didn't mess it up, but I can't cut here. So I'm sorry if this will sound really stupid when that happens, if that happens. Um, and if not, then everything is fine. But yeah, there you see it. We have the, um, the Death Spiral. Next up, we will have the Song of Mana evolved, hopefully, if we get the curse anytime soon. And we are struggling because... Well, we, we, we need the curse, right? Enjoy. Oh boy, I have a gold record attempt run that is going insanely well right now. Um, I have three rosaries down, I think, if I count it right. I actually gotta check one, two, three. Let me check if there's another one. Four. The reason why we want them, or why I need them, or why they are so important, is because we can nuke the later waves, which gives a ton of experience, so that's the main point of those. The the only issue is I haven't gotten the, the skull so far, so I couldn't upgrade the weapon and collect the empty tome. Well, you know, it, it's kind of hilarious because, like, I start saying these things, and the moment I start saying them, like, just the first word or so, ooh, this will be hard. Ah, uh, I think I collected it. Yep. Okay, I mean... Th yeah, that's really annoying. I can't change it. It's what happens, but th that was still hilarious. Um, I don't know if this will be good, if this will be bad, or whatever. I'm really curious to see right now. As you can see, I have 4.8k gold, but I also opened all the chests so far. There's not a rosary. I also opened all the chests so far, and yeah, so it's like, it's going really well. Um, how would I evaluate it over the entire course of the run? I mean, you've seen the beginning. Like, it started off insanely well, and then I was actually, like, funny enough, I was actually too far behind. And then I didn't get the further upgrade, but aside from that, it's going really good. But whenever I make these evaluations, it's obviously based on, hey, I've done, I don't know how many runs today. Ooh, careful, careful, careful. Yeah, I've done, I don't know how many runs today. And, like, this is the one that is actually looking really good, right? So, it's not like I do one run, and, like, this is the only run I do, and I compare this to the, the average luck, or something like this. I want to have top-notch luck, like I want to have top-level luck. That is the entire point of these runs. You want to play until you get one that is amazing, that gives you all the stuff super duper early or so. I'm actually getting a bit concerned that I might not get the Clock Lancet. That did happen to me in the past. So, yeah, better show up, my friend. Did the bat just die? Without dropping a chest? Huh? Oh my god, you just scared the living... I thought that might be a thing now, that these can die without dropping a chest. <coughs> because they do have a chance, right? It's, it's only a chance, but because of our high luck, it should be guaranteed. And that's why I was so concerned that, that something changed, and that might make it near... What the... Okay. That might make it near impossible to beat old records, or at least a lot, 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 lot harder. But yeah, I decided to go for resets until I get the uh, the Song of Mana. I wasn't sure if that was a good idea. I just wanted to see how it performs. There's another rosary. Ooh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this clover here, by the way. Like, oh, clock lens is perfect. I know I just wasted um I just wasted a rosary for that. But usually in this run, okay, usually if you get decent luck, you have at the end like. 14 15 rosaries and you can't even use that many on the last wave so it's like yeah i can sacrifice some i don't need to keep all of them in fact i might even pick up the one on the floor right now that has the freeze below just to not mess up my last wave okay there's another freeze so if you're unfamiliar with this if you don't know what i'm talking about the freeze can pretty oh there's a rosary perfect the freeze can pretty much offset your rosary kills by a lot. Like, every single freeze is as if you lost two rosaries, including... Not not including, actually. Excluding the one you just used, so in total it's three. And that makes it really, really, really bad. 
Because the enemies don't walk into the middle. They are just outside and you have to walk there and you get less kills because they are not as dense. Overall, really annoying, really frustrating, so you really don't want to have rosaries on freezers. But the thing is, candles keep respawning, so it happens eventually. You can't change that. So instead what I'll do is, I'll take the one where a freeze is below. If I have a certain amount of rosaries, which I'll just do later on, like I'll pause, I'll think about it, what is the best choice to go for. And that will pretty much be the, yeah, the decision down the line. That was perfect, wow. So I need on the spot 70 levels to max out. Um, here, because of the types of chests that I've gotten, I think I got two uh, triples and two normal ones, if I'm not mistaken. But I might be wrong with that, and it was more basic chests. So right now I'm just hoping to find more gold bags. I'm hoping to find... Ooh, don't take the footer. <laughs> I'm hoping to find more gold bags. I'm hoping to find more rosaries. I'm hoping to find more um, penta chests in the future. To get more gold out of them. That is pretty much like what I'm looking for. It's really, it's really hard in general to evaluate these runs. Because I can say early on, yeah, this is going amazing. This is absolutely going crazy. And then you watch the... I think it was the 23k run. Or I deleted it. I'm not so sure about that. Where it started off insane. I got like 10 or 12 gold bags with within the first 10 minutes or so. Which is an insane pace. That is perfect to get like beyond 30 bags, right? And it ended up being one of the worst runs I had gold bag wise. I, I don't even think it was that that bad, but like given how well it started, right? Even if I just got average values afterwards, I should have been a 27, 28. I think I also messed up the the no. I I think I was also lacking rosaries or something like this in the very end, which meant I was losing a ton of levels. I think I had like 40 levels less or so. I don't remember it all of my head. Okay, don't 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 quote me on this and say yeah, but you said you had you had. Uh, you had no rosaries and you popped off 20 or, or stuff like this. Like, I, I'm just talking out of my head. Okay. So this is where it will become a lot more difficult. I did do one attempt with the Cursed Skull on X-Dash. And honestly, it's not that much different compared to not doing it. Like, not going with it. Um, the main difference is... The, the main difficult difference is the boss at 25 minutes... Boy oh boy, I need some preparation for him, I'll need some freezers, I'll need NFT, I'll need stuff like this to kill him. There is a high chance that I'll die, and I'll do my best to avoid it, but if I die, I lost 900 gold. That's just what it is, right? But otherwise, I couldn't, I couldn't have attempted this. And maybe this will just be in my future runs if I determine, yeah, the, the, the song of something is, is really good, I really want to run it. Then I'll just have to get better at dodging and beating that boss. Because the problem is you can't freeze him with the clock lancet. You can freeze him with the items on the floor, but that's also it. And NFT staggers him a lot. Like, staggering is just when they start a walk. So if you just keep shooting NFT at him and walk slightly back and attack him with it, he doesn't really get that close to you. It, it still gets close to you, don't get me wrong. Like, you'll get hit, guaranteed. But you just have to make work and somehow try to go through the enemies and not, you know, mess up. Um, I think I have three little clovers right now. Yeah, I have three little clovers. Not the worst, not the best. I had more in the past, but honestly, we are only at 17 minutes. I can only hope for more. But sometimes I feel like I only get the clovers, like, super early on, or after the entire game is done. Oh, and I have to remind myself that I actually have to keep talking, because this will be an uncut video. Um... Because, you know, it's going really well, and if it's actually, um, for example, beating my old score, which I really dubbed, because we are o only in quotation marks at 7k gold, but if it manages to do that, then, yeah, you, you can't cut a run that you submit for a record. <laughs> so, yeah, can't do that, sorry. Um, so I'm also sorry if I don't talk for a bit, because, boy, I, I, had some, I had some delicious German beer yesterday, and maybe a bit too much of it. And I have a headache, and my stomach feels weird. So yeah. So if whenever if, if you decide to drink, which like if you don't want to, don't do it. Hey, th there's no reason to do it. But if you decide to drink, make sure that you hydrate yourself. And I'm not. I don't mean with more beer, okay, German colleagues. I don't mean hydrate your. That is that was like a tradition when we were drinking back in the days, where f Friday was the big party, right? We were all partying, we were all drinking, we were drunk, and stuff like this. In the morning you wake up, 
cold pizza, open open a cold one, and just enjoy the next beer. That is that that was a morning ritual, pretty much. <laughs> no, but I mean, if you go to sleep, ooh, there's a freeze. I'll take that away. Yeah, if you go to sleep, just just get a bottle of water next to you. Constantly drink out of it. Yes, you go to the toilet a couple of times, but trust me, it helps so much to not have after effects from you know drinking. I mean, ooh, was this a rosary? I don't think so. Good. Uh, I should actually write them down, but I'm 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 too lazy right now. I'm sorry. Um, I'm just gonna pretend everything that blinks is a rosary, except for this one, because I was just hoping. And, um, yeah. The reason why I'm clearing these up constantly is because I need to know where the rosaries are, and where the rosaries are not. It, it's that simple. Um, that is a very bad experience or placement. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab this. You want to have them really far out of the way, so you can just go there at the very end. And don't have to walk around. Like, this one is actually really perfect. And this will be my... Like, the one that I use to get an old experience. I usually like to have two of them around, just in case something went wrong. But as long as you do it after all the enemies disappeared, after the Reaper's there, uh, it, it's totally fine. And that was, that was a mistake, by the way. Ooh, not a gold bag. Oh, 7.9k gold. It's actually been a while that I have done, like, super active gold runs, just because... Well, you guys are kind of crazy. You guys decided to subscribe to the channel like insane and everything. So I was trying to keep up with that. And you know, when updates happen, updates. And then um, I was super hyped because I discovered on how to unlock Missing No again. And you know, a lot of videos about that. And yes, don't worry. Maxi No and Mini No are both coming very... Oh my god, a clover. Nice. Are both coming very soon. In case you're wondering what those are, because you haven't seen the straw poll, they are pretty much just the two extreme versions of Missing No, meaning the Maxi No will have all the positive effects, maxed, like, to, like, a high amount, it's still randomized, right? But instead of saying it's from a negative to a positive value, it will just all be starting at the top value of Missing No or something like this, and then plus 50%, minus 50%. To still have a range, you know, some difference, but with, a, like, new possibilities, all positive. <clears throat> now when I say positive, I mean it has to be a positive effect for the game. So for example, positive for the game would... I have to argue with that whether curse is something positive to have or something negative, right? Because technically speaking, it's supposed to make things harder, but if you have a very low curse value, it makes it easier. But it also makes it easier if you have a higher curse value, because you kill more and gain more levels, right? So it's really hard to debate whether the curse on the run that is supposed to have like insanely high values is supposed to be insanely high to make it crazy or supposed to be insanely low. And I think the way it will be is Maxino will just have, you know, the highest amount of curse, like now that I thought about it again, because it fits to the insanity, right? And Minino will just have a very low amount of curse. Like expect a lot of negative numbers, I even expect numbers below 100%. Um, like for the mini no, I could just say, yeah, allow everything from uh, like zero to negative one and randomize something. But I think I'll not even do that. I'll just say, allow everything from zero to negative two. Negative two means you go below, oh my god. You go below the base value of the game. So like for example, movement speed, right? If you take movement speed, negative 100% would just mean you have 0% movement speed and you would stand still. Negative 200% would mean you reverse the input, so if you press left, it goes right. And that is why I want to allow negative 200%, because you need that to reverse it. But anything below zero would reverse it. But you just have to keep in mind that most of these stats have um, a base value of 100 that you don't see. So if it says you get plus 10% might, then your, like, your base value is already 100%, you add another 10% to it, right? Makes sense. Because what else is it supposed to add 10% on? But yeah. Oh, that would be hor Wait a second. That would that would make it impossible if I got my, like, negative... What is it? Yeah, 100 is already enough. I, I might need to tweak these a bit, you know, for some things that just make it impossible to play. Oh, there are so many freezes. This is so bad. But yeah, I might need to tweak some of these. Ch Ugh, I didn't want to do that. I was checking something. Here, if there's a rosary, and I'm 99% sure there's a rosary behind the freeze. 
But yeah, I might need to tweak some of these because if, like, for, okay, let's, for example, growth, right? If growth is below negative 100%, I think you just don't get any experience anymore. And, like, I, I can't beat a level level 1. Not not with, uh, you know, randomized character that is supposed to be insanely bad, the very worst thing in the game. That doesn't work. I shouldn't have taken this, by the way. That, that was a gamble for nothing. Okay. So we do have another freeze here. I'll take this. Now, one problem I... Oh, can I somehow pick this out without picking up everything? <gasps> I did it! I did it! Oh, amazing! So how many... Wait, I, I gotta check how many I have right now. Five. Okay, five is really good. Um, I think the highest I have ever gotten were seven, if I'm not mistaken. So I wonder if we'll find another one. Because a while ago I had this mental break where I was sure that you could only get like five of them and that's it. And and then I, you know, got six, I got seven. And I realized, no, it, it's possible. It's just, you know, it's it's really RNG reliant whether they get dropped or not. And they, ooh, no, 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 I, I don't have a freeze, I don't have a freeze, I don't have a freeze. Okay, so this, wait a second, is the Song of Mana just dealing with him? Oh, Dex, careful that you don't die here. I have to be careful because I have to watch out for how he moves. And at the same time, I have to deal with the enemies that get frozen and die and refill in lines. Uh, the, oh, the Song of Mana is actually really annoying for this because it pushes, like, it kills the frozen enemies. So the other guys push in. I would have never considered this to be an actual issue for me. I hope I'm doing decent damage against him. I can't turn on damage numbers. Any delay that you cause in your game, even just by damage numbers, like giving you 5% delay, is time that you lose on candle respawn time. And 5% might sound not like a lot, but take how much gold I get per run just from candles and remove 5% from it. Like, it's, it, it is a lot. That can pretty much be the difference between beating 25k, which is my goal. Not with this run, because I don't think it will happen, but like in general. Um, or being at 24.5k. For example, my last one was a 24.88, right? Um, so yeah, it looks like with Song of Mana, he staggers so much, I don't even need the NFT or freeze. Not punished for being stupid, because I should have prepared for him. In fact, I think I picked up everything I needed for him while I was talking. And that's why I usually don't talk in these runs, and I just do post-commentary. But I also think, like, I don't think post-commentary is bad, but I think at the same time... <gasps> I got stuck on the table, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, boy. Okay, when he gets too close, it almost looks like if he goes inside of the garlic um, circles. So you see how we have three circles, right? And all of them have the same same distance to each other. But the most inner circle, well, there's only one inner circle. The inner... Bleh. Also, why is it just a basic chest? Please? But the inner circle has like a huge distance to me. And I think if he gets in between that, finally, then the garlic effect doesn't happen anymore. It's probably entirely wrong, but this is just what I feel like. Like, I noticed this with the standstill challenge with Motachio. When the enemies walked in, like, on top of me... They weren't pushed back as far anymore, like, they pretty much only had normal pushback range, distance. And I think that's just because the garlic effect doesn't apply there anymore, you know? Similar to King Bible, with area, if you move it too far out, you don't hit the enemies anymore because the circle gets further and further away. And if the logic is the same for, King, uh, for garlic, then this is actually something bad. Well, depending on the circumstances, of course. I'll take the freeze here. Freezes are a blessing when you get them, because you can just walk through all of the enemies like this. But I have to be aware when they unfreeze, and it's about now. Uh, there we go. Always be be safe, not sorry. Okay, better be safe than sorry. Because if something messes up this far into the run, you gotta reset for like another 100 or 200 runs until you get a good one. So you really want to make sure you're safe and not sorry. There are certain things that I do that are with high risk. Sometimes. Because I know, like, even if I know I would beat my record, and let's say it's by 200 gold, and I know I could do something that might kill me, but it gives me another 2k gold, or even just 1k gold, or even just 500 gold, yeah, I'll take it because the number will be, ver like, a lot higher in the end. And if I don't beat it, hey, I still have the run, I still have my old record, you know. That's how I view it, there's not a rosary. Okay, now I have to be very careful that I do this alright, because now we walk over. 
And this will be a gamble because there are so many things on the floor that I can't guarantee where the rosaries are. Like, it might be that I walk in a spot expecting to pick up a rosary, and in, like, in reality, I'm not picking up anything. Okay. So the way I'll do this is first this one, and I'll pick it right away, that all, everything dies. Then I'll wait until they come in again, I'll pick up this. That will kill them, but also freeze them. That will give me some time to move. Oh, that, that's not what I want to do. It's fine. And let me just go to the right now, because they came in a bit closer, and now I'll pop them off. <coughs> uh, yeah, this is this is the stuff I was talking about with the freezes that is really annoying about them. There we go. Uh, did that actually kill them? Oh, oh, wait a second, I can check. Don't click wrong here. Oh yeah, okay, they died. Uh, the way I know they died is because no one is taking damage. And let's do this. That was wrong. Oh my god, I'm losing so much time with this. I have to turn off damage numbers. Okay, so I know there's still a rosary over there, but I'll pick up the ones that don't have a freeze with them. Oh, come on, this is wasting so much time. This is like wasting two or three seconds now. There we go. Um, and I'm gonna pick up the one that has a freeze on it, just that I can walk through. There we go. Uh, there was a mistake. I should've went to the left side. I think it's fine, I'll still get there, but it's not optimal. Oh, and there's even a little clover. So yeah, like, here for example is another rosary. I can't change that, right? Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, I'll pick up what I... Oh my god, just walk down. Man... Like, you can walk after you level up, but you have to time it right, and walking down is really hard because I'm not pushing down. Yeah, that's just it. That's just it. Well, it was nice. It was a really nice attempt. It was, like, really flawed in the end, but I think it was still okay. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is just freeze to death, and I'm gonna collect everything that is still on the ground. There's, for example, a freeze over here, so I can just collect it and freeze him the moment he unfreezes, pretty much. And after I collected everything, I'm sure that I have all the luck. Let's take a look at how much luck we have. On spot, 300%. Now we open all the chests and we just hope for really high gold values. Now getting all these basic chests... Well, there's a panda chest, never mind. I was about to say getting all these panda, uh, basic chests really frustrates me right now. Because we have an insane luck value. Uh, the more luck you have, the more likely it is to be a higher tier chest. But it also... Like, if you have more than 100% uh, luck, it pretty much guarantees that the chests that the game says the chest is supposed to be will be overwritten by a basic chest. Uh, like I explained this a couple of times, it's a bit hard to understand, but it's actually quite simple. Um, so the game files say this chest, for example, from boss at 25 minutes, perfect, amazing, uh, is supposed to be a level 3 chest, which is a penta chest here, right? But when you open the chest, the game makes three rolls. One for a level, level 3 chest, a penta chest. One for a level 2 chest, a triple chest. And one for a level 1 chest, a basic chest. And if one of the rolls fail, it goes to the next one. If all fail, it takes the base value. So, in that case, I would actually like that all fail. Because it will just go for a, a penta chest, right? Um, but what happens in, in reality is... Um, if the first one for level 3 and the second one for level 2 fail... It is im- Why am I not moving? What happened there? What? But yeah, point is, it is impossible to skip the level 1 roll. It will always give you the level 1 chest. Because the, the, the lowest amount that um, the level 1 chest can have is 50%, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Which means with 100% luck that gets doubled, so it's 100%, which means it always succeeds. And yeah, this is a bit sad. Like, no matter what is in this chest, it will not help to... Um, offset the difference, but honestly, I'm really happy how this worked with the Band of Mana, and yeah, I, I can't complain too much, level 151 is actually a really decent level, so it wasn't because of level, it was just because of chest openings, or while I had a lot of bags early on, maybe later on, I had like barely any bags anymore. Wait, hold on! I still have my revives! Wait, I, I still get gold! Wait, how much gold do I get? Um, Yeah, you might notice it has been a while since I did a gold record run that actually ended. Um, Wait a second, wait a second, how much was it? Is it? No, it's 1.1k times 3. 
I'm I'm above 25k. Wait a second, what? I mean, okay, it's it's really like it's it's not that far different, right? It's it's it, but like, I I'm that is amazing. I was so I was so happy and also sad when I saw the 24.888k. That that's wrong. It's not kkkk. Okay, focus decks. Come on, you you can get more gold backs. You can get more gold out of this. Focus a bit. Okay, that doesn't look like gold. Game, please give me. Stop giving me foot, okay? That's really frustrating. That freeze is actually good because my shield can recharge. Um, stay in the same tile set because it always spawns again in the tile set. So they spawned earlier on. This is why there are so many on the ground now. Imagine I could just kill the Reaper, by the way. Yeah, that's good, GG. That, okay, that was really clutch. Like, when you hold down on download bookshelf, I always have the feeling that the Reaper tries to get on top of you. But he, he just doesn't. Like, he does to an extent, but way worse than if you were just standing around. Okay. Let me do the same thing again. Ooh, did you see that? Easily dealt with three Reapers. This is uh, amazing. That is useless over there. Give me a gold pack, please. Hello, 26k maybe total. <gasps> Freeze. Perfect. Okay, let's go. Gold pack. That, that's the wrong one. I'll still take it, but it's the wrong one. Because that one is only 30 gold, not 300. So they should all be to the left there. Oh my god, that was beautiful. If you walk far enough, they teleport all in front of you, pretty much, where you're walking like this. So if you're shooting to that side, you can just freeze all of them at once. But this is like a feeling thing. You just have to know when they un... <gasps> gold pack! Oh no, yet now I went back and some of them teleported. Yeah, that I took more damage than I needed to there. Uh, it's fine, it's fine. The shield is still yellow. Okay, it's, uh, everything is perfectly fine. Now I just want to wait until they unfreeze before I move over. I don't want them to teleport while I'm shooting to the right side. Nah, come on, there we go. Okay, th and that was a mistake by me. Because I expected them to be unfrozen a while ago. But they didn't because I had the... The Okorolokomomo. The thing that just freezes enemies, right? It was not done with this one. Um, I'll try something that is a bit cheesy here. Oh, it was so close. Because they tried to... Oh, one more. Because they try to push each other away, which just disallows them to attack you. But this is pretty much GG. They'll teleport to the right, and I'm shooting to the left. This is like, I can't freeze them, yeah. Man, but that was amazing. I can't believe I actually did it. The reason why I was so calm is because I saw the number, and for me this was just like, yeah, I can collect a bit more gold now, And but I didn't beat it. I don't understand what happened, but we did a 26k. 23 gold bags. Six clovers, tr three penta chests. I mean, it, the, the funny part is, I always have this ratio, usually, almost always, ten basic chests and then seven other chests. But this is amazing. Eighteen rosary is not out of the ordinary, but it's it's still really good, don't get me wrong. Um, yeah. That was amazing. The mana, yeah, I think helped me a lot to just walk through the enemies and break a lot more candles than I would usually do. I, it might be a wrong feeling, right? And I just think I did, and in fact, it was just the same stuff as always. But I think overall, it felt a ton more secure, especially that I could defeat the minute 25 boss without a single issue. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed it. See you the next time. If you want to see more, by the way, just feel free to subscribe. And I'm out.